Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a good one. Sweet 16, Seattle Regional 4 matchup. Mighty Doug Van Heim checking in. Welcome to this Friday night late West Coast showdown between number 5 seeded Louisville Cardinals and the number 8 seeded Ole Miss Rebels. As this uh, game in the lead A is in Seattle. Obviously, that's why it's a late night matchup. As Louisville, oh, foul and one. Oh, boy. Wow. What a play. What a basket. Dang. Oh, she faked it. And gives it the foul. And they're like, let's go. Oh, Louisville. Winner of this game will be taking on Kalen Clark. And the Iowa Hawkeyes, which if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Video's all uploaded and ready to go. And no way to see who Iowa's probably watching this game. I guarantee you the Iowa Hawkeyes ladies, they're watching this game right now. And I know it. So, because they defeated Colorado 87-77. And they got the ball. Here comes the Rebels. Hope you guys enjoyed the two other videos of the number one seeds getting taken down by the number five seeds. Miami Hurricanes taking down Houston. And the... Oh! And the ball goes out of bounds. Who ball is it? I think it stays with Ole Miss. And then the other upset was Alabama getting taken down by San Diego State Aztecs. That was a good game. And then a magical run of a season ends. As Princeton goes down against Creighton earlier in the night. As, ooh, here comes the Louisville Cards pressing down the court. They shot, they score! What's the foul? The whole bench is going crazy. The whole fan base is going crazy. They want to run it up. They are going quick. They're flexing their muscles. You know it. They're showing why they're here. They want to continue on. Iowa better be watching this, man. This Louisville team is scary to face. I swear, I think Louisville, I did a lot of reactions on their women's team. But man, their women's team, they've been... They, they're a scary team to face. You know, they came up short in the ACC tournament game against Virginia Tech. Oh. Ooh, okay. And foul. Oh, the Charlotte Hornets take down the Dallas Mavericks, 117-109 to in an NBA showdown. The uh, interesting enough about that game, this is kind of a weird fact. The Dallas Mavericks came into the game 16-point favorites to win the game. But the Charlotte Hornets made the biggest upset of the season by defeating the Dallas Mavericks in the final seconds. So, sports sounds ne up next. Let's see what they got to talk about. The wannabe coaches. That's why I call them Sports Center. I mean, I don't mind when they show highlights. That's pretty cool. But it's not the same as it was like in the mid 2000s. Here they come again. Louisville with rushing down the court. And time winding down. Louisville needs a miracle to pull it off. I mean, Ole Miss needs a miracle. My bad. Ole Miss needs a miracle to come back. Oh! I mean, miracles are miracles. That might have sealed the game. But Ole Miss still fighting on. Shooter three. No! And a foul. Sacramento Kings about to defeat the Phoenix Suns. Six minutes, 47 seconds left, 118 to 107, Kings. You know, nobody predicted them to be in a winning season. People were like, especially Kings fans. Kings fans were like, you know, we're getting 40 wins. And it was like March, and they were like, wow. 
So I'm happy for them. I'm happy for the fans. They've been waiting, you know, pretty much 15, 16 years to be back in the playoffs, do you think? Actually, technically, if you guys don't know this, the last time they made the playoffs was when the last time when the Pittsburgh Penguins missed the playoffs. I'm not kidding with you. That's an interesting sports fact. The last time the Kings made the playoffs, 2005-06, was the last time the Pittsburgh Penguins, the NHL team, missed the playoffs, Sidney Crosby's rookie year. Mario Lemieux's last and his second retirement. So, uh, let's see, NHL scores, Colorado Avalanche defeat the Arizona Coyotes 3-1. Speaking of the Arizona Coyotes, I believe I did a video on them. That's the first time ever I did a video with the Arizona Coyotes. Here's Haley Van Lynn. She had some trash talking going on with a Texas player last time. They got a little into it. And her brother, <laughs> he's a savage. You think he yelled out to the Texas player, You got your ass kicked. Word for word. I don't mean to swear or anything, but he said, you got your ass kicked, and then at least their father was like, Tanner, don't say that. So, so 40.7 seconds to go. Louisville up by 10. Yeah, and that's the earlier game, Iowa winning it. I would love to see, definitely, if Louisville can... You know, run on the clock and milk the clock and not do anything dumb. They can definitely win it. Kaylin Clark versus Haley Van Lynn. Bro, that will be awesome matchup. I'll be in it. That's a matchup I'm excited for. You know, Kaylin Clark, Haley Van Lynn. Ooh, but there's some points that are going to be scored. I guarantee you it's going to be a high scoring game. I'm saying right here, right now, high scoring. Like, I would say, like, 80s, 90s, maybe 100. Definitely, definitely 80s, 90s. I'm saying that right here, right now. It's going to be, like, high scoring, maybe 100. I would love to see that game going 100. Like, both Louisville and I will be like, screw the defense. Let's just run it up, run it. You know what I'm saying? So. There's Haley Valen's parents. Actually, she definitely looks like her mom. That definitely is a fact. And there's one. Oh my god. Memphis Grizzlies put up a 151 burger on the Houston Rockets, defeating them 151 to 114. Dang. And there's Tanner, her brother, who got yelled at. by their dad. <laughs> so 72-62. Louisville leads by 10. Well, Haley Van Lynn, she's just been unbelievable. She's just been, you know, team player. You know, her versus Kaylin Clark. Woo! Better be some points in that game. That's for damn sure. Uh, yeah. I just feel bad for Louisville that um, Louisville men's aren't doing that good. I wish they would be better. Angel McGordy had eight. So the most uh, most points in the tournament in Louisville's uh, program history, or whatever it was, double doubles. Oh, no! That could have ended bad. They got, what is she doing? Okay. Louisville made it into the, uh, how can I put this? They made it to the national championship game once. Their women's did. But unfortunately, they ran into a brick wall, and that was named Brianna Store and the Yukon Huskies Dynasty. They got destroyed by like 30 in that game. That was just, that was just pure dominance by Yukon. Pure, pure dominance. As time is winding down. Louisville, you can celebrate. 
As time is winding out on the final score, Louisville Cardinals 72, Ole Miss Rebels 62. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Oh, man, I am excited to see Kalen Clark versus Haley Van Lynn. Definitely some points up on the board. I'm going to say right here right now, it's going to be 80s, 90s. As Fitz J lead eight, eighth under Jeff Walls. Congrats to him. Congrats to the Louisville Cardinals. As her dad is pumped, and I don't blame him. So, time for me to stop talking and end this video.